I like meat. This is a message going out to the vegetarians and vegans out there who look down their noses at meat eaters like me because, well, we're consuming animals that were once living and breathing. Look, I'm not a Bible thumper. But for you who are, even in the good book, it states that these creatures are here for our consumption. This has nothing to do with religion or politics and everything to do with our choices in a free society and that one little thing we call health. Thanks for popping into my channel and stay tuned because we're going to talk about diet. Let's be clear, the word diet simply means the food you eat. The food you eat is your diet. Whether you are eating cookies and cream ice cream or moon pies or seeds and sticks and grass, we are omnivores. We have both sharp teeth and we have flat teeth for eating both plants and animals. We are not cloven hoofed, which means those types of animals that have flat teeth. Those animals are known as herbivores. Here's one thing I want you to think about. Have you ever seen a fat deer? <laughs> no, you have not. But we've seen plenty of fat cows and fat bulls. And, and, and the reason is they fatten those things up so they can make more money off of them. That's corporate farming. That's corporate livestock. They're in the business to make as much money as they possibly can. And they're going to feed these animals uh, all kinds of drugs to make them big and fat and sellable. You also have critters that have nothing but sharp teeth. Like lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. They just eat meat. That's all. Our entire existence has evolved far past the point of logic and reason. As Homo sapiens, we evolved from a life form that ate raw food until some wise guy discovered fire, and then soon we were burning up all of the valuable nutrients we consumed in meat and plants before we ate it, and it ruined our gut biome. In the early days, the average human lifespan was shorter than it is now, but that's because of the threat to human lives by other humans and other predators. Modern medicine helped out a little with helping us live longer too, but I think that goes both ways. I think sometimes that modern medicine caused more harm than good. Then the wheel came along and the telegraph line and eventually doctors. I remember when I first heard about a doctor who treated General George Washington. When you were a child, do you remember going to the barber shop out in front of the building was a white post with a red stripe that curled around the post. Do you know what that was? It was a sign that indicated that there was a fellow inside that building who considered himself a doctor, among other things. If you were feeling ill, they believed that all you had to do is let them take some blood out of you, a little bit of bloodletting, and it would get rid of that bad blood and you'd feel better. Well, rumor has it that this is how President Washington actually died just a little too much bloodletting for Georgie. Eventually, science made its way into the treatment of human beings, which seemed to help quite a bit toward the advancement of patient care, until greed reared its ugly head and the pharmaceutical companies got in bed with doctors to help them peddle their drugs to an unsuspecting public. At this point, you need to stop and think about something. Let's go back to the beginning. We were eating raw meat and plants. We were freely procreating in caves and skinny dipping in lakes and living a complete and natural life. There were no gods or politics. There were no fires or wires or trains, planes or automobiles. And most importantly, there was no media. Go ahead, drink the Kool-Aid, buy into what you want to, believe what you want to believe. The bottom line is you and I will not be here for long. Just like in the days when a raptor would swoop down and take you up to its lair and rip you to shreds, there isn't much you can really do, even today. Back in the day, someone might snatch something from a plant, take a bite and fall dead, stiff as a board. 
don't eat that plant anymore. That's how they learned. Between that and being gobbled up by a saber-toothed tiger, these are the reasons we had a shorter lifespan. The Wild West didn't help much either. We also didn't live a very long life because of violence. Sound familiar? Yeah, we still have that problem here today. Some called it lead poisoning. No cure for that, is there? One thing we all have to remember, we are our own best advocate. And sometimes we're our own worst enemies. But remember, doctors are not our advocates. They paid a ton of money to go to school so they could eventually make a ton of money from you. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing better than finding a doctor that you trust and respect and vice versa. Doctors actually do save lives occasionally, but you always need to remember eventually a doctor will lose every one of his patients. So far, there is no cure for death. Mm -hmm.